and they're really good because they're so really crunchy. But... Hey everyone, and welcome to my channel. I'm Nikki. I'm Adam. And today's video is going to be a fun one. We are just going to be showing you guys how we make some of our favorite foods in the air fryer. So we get a lot of requests or a lot of questions about how we use our air fryer. We use this thing pretty much every single day and for so many different things. Mainly we use it to heat up like chicken or different foods like that, sometimes like frozen foods and stuff, but we also use it to make things from scratch. So today we're gonna be showing you how we make corn tortilla chips, turkey pepperoni roll-ups that are like my new favorite snack. We're gonna show you how we do just like a basic chicken wrap that I make for lunches. And then we are gonna show you some breaded zucchini and panko crumbs. So I'm excited to do that. But before we get started, if you could go ahead and give this video a like and subscribe to my channel, I would really appreciate that. And let's go ahead and get started with this guy. So this is our air fryer. We use the Power XL. This is the seven quart. So we originally started with the three and a half quart. That was too small for us. So we upgraded to the seven quart, which honestly we could still probably use a bigger one, but we love this thing. So when you turn it on, it automatically goes to 370 degrees. That's pretty much what I cook everything at. It just makes it easier. I never really change the temperature on it. So you can go ahead and mess around with it, see what temperature you feel comfortable using or what works best for you. But I like to just keep it at the basic 370 and then just adjust the time from there. It always starts at 15 minutes and usually I just let the 15 minutes go and then check throughout. So that is how I like to use my air fryer. Before we get started with some of the recipes too, I wanted to say how I make a few other things. So one thing that I really like to make in here is like sweet potatoes. So I'll cut up a sweet potato into like sweet potato fries. Um, I'll put a little bit of oil on them, a little bit of seasoning, toss them in here and just air fry them up. I also really like to use the air fryer to heat up like an English muffin. So I'll just take it, put a little butter spray on it or something, toss it in and heat it up for a few minutes and it gives it like the perfect toast because we actually don't even have a toaster. And then another thing we like to make, and I already have them prepped because I'm gonna be grilling them later, but I don't usually put them in a bag like this when I'm gonna be air frying them because what I do is I throw them in a bowl, I microwave them for five minutes, and then I toss them in the air fryer with seasoning and like a little bit of oil or oil spray like this, and then I cook them in the air fryer. Usually 15 minutes is long enough for that, but I have some other videos where I've made those before, so I can link that below. We love to use this to just heat up our chicken tenders. It's just so much quicker to heat up frozen food, so like the Purdue chicken tenders we love, the Tyson grilled nuggets I love to use for my wraps. I just toss them in here for five minutes, take them out, assemble the wrap, and then throw the wrap back in the air fryer. So it's already heated up and everything. So it's just perfect. So. A lot of it is just trial and error, seeing what works for you. It's not that difficult. I mean, you just put the food in and it cooks, but like I said, seeing what temperature you like, how long you like to cook certain things, but even he can handle cooking in it, so. Ouch. Are you, you cook? No. Okay. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and get started. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna show you guys how to make are corn tortilla chips. So I'm just using these street taco tortillas and I have four of them right here and I'm just gonna go ahead and quarter them. So then we just have some mini chips. Then what I do is I take a paper towel and I lay the chips out. So now I just take a little bit of olive oil spray and spray the chips. Then I go in with a little bit of salt I flip the chips over, spray them again, some salt, and then I like to just sprinkle a little bit of lime juice. I go ahead and toss them in all the salt, and then I'm gonna toss them in the air fryer. So I just have my tortilla chips spread out in the air fryer. I'm gonna pop them in at 370 for like five minutes and then move them around. Then the next thing I'm gonna start to make is the zucchini. So I'm just gonna go ahead and chop this zucchini into discs. I'm just making one. And I like to cut like a little bit of bigger chunks. So now I have my setup for the zucchini. I'm gonna go ahead and dip them in the flour, the egg, and then this is panko breadcrumbs. These are sriracha flavored, so, so good. I love these. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and bread them in this and then I just have a tray with the parchment paper that I'm gonna be laying them out on and then I'm gonna toss them in the air fryer when I'm done with them all.
So then this is what the finished zucchini looks like. I'm gonna go ahead and pop this in the air fryer at 370 for five minutes and then check on them. Okay, so sorry, you can hear the air fryer going in the background as I make this next thing, but it's cooking the zucchini. Anyway, so this is like become my favorite snack when I have a few minutes to make this in the air fryer. So what I have right here is, this is just a tomorrow wrap. It's one smart point on the blue plan. And these have been my favorite for making this specifically, but any like low carb wrap will work or any tortilla really. So then I have a laughing cow. This is just a regular light laughing cow. And I'm making one for each of us. So I'm just gonna split the laughing cow in half. Then I'm gonna use some of this light mozzarella cheese from Trader Joe's. So usually when I make this for myself, I make two for myself and I weigh out 28 grams of the cheese and do 14 on each tortilla. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add some of this turkey pepperoni. So usually I just use a one smart point serving, which is 15 pepperoni and I just divide that between the two. Okay, then when I make these, I like to make them like a long little roll up. So I kind of try to get it all to one edge, pinch the sides in, and I roll it kind of tightly. Just like that. So those are ready, but while the air fryer is still cooking the zucchini, I'm gonna go ahead and make the chicken wrap next. So here I have a large extreme wellness wrap. This is two smart points on the blue plan. And I prefer to do the larger ones, but you could do like two small ones as well. Now I'm gonna use another laughing cow. So this is just a light one. I like to also use the spicy pepper jack because it's really flavorful, but this is just the light one. And I'm just gonna go ahead and spread it out similar to the other tortilla. Now, if you're new to my channel, this stuff is the best. This is my favorite hummus. This is the Lantana black bean hummus. So flavorful, so, so good, and so low point. So two tablespoons is one smart point. I don't even usually use that much, but I'm just gonna go ahead and spread some onto the laughing cow. So then what I do is I have my veggie mix here. This is what I always have made with peppers, onions, and zucchini. And I'm just gonna go ahead and toss them onto the wrap. And then I have some grilled Tyson chicken nuggets. And what I do is I usually toss them in the air fryer for like I said, five minutes. And then they're not like fully cooked, but they're no longer frozen. And then I put them on the wrap because the wrap is going back in the air fryer anyway to get cooked a little bit longer. Okay, so I wrap it up the same way as the pepperoni pizza things. And that is my chicken wrap. And those are what I love, love, love to have for lunch. Super filling, super low point, and super tasty. So I'm gonna go ahead and check on the zucchini now. Okay, so this is what the finished zucchini look like. Oh my gosh, they turned out so good. I just burnt my hand, but nice and crunchy. And oh, look at that. Perfect. So now I'm gonna go ahead and cook the wraps. Okay, I know my air fryer is full of panko now. I need to clean it out. But when I do put the tortillas in, I try to like press them down and like kind of have them to the side of the air fryer so that they don't pop open while they're frying. Because that has happened to me many times and it's frustrating, makes the tortilla really crunchy. But this one's usually heavy enough. These ones I just try to really like. Even this, maybe I'll put it on the side so that it doesn't really pop open. Okay, so here is everything finished. So both the zucchini and the pizza sticks will be good dipped in marinara. So I just made a side of marinara for us to eat that with. There's our delicious chicken wrap and then some buffalo chicken dip I just put in a bowl to have with our tortilla chips. So we're gonna snack right now, but let me go ahead and show you guys. Okay, so everything is done. We've air fried everything. I'm just gonna go over how long I left everything in and how I cooked it. 
So like I said, the whole time I cooked all this food, the air fryer was at 370. It just works to leave it that way. It always cooks just fine. So first thing that we made were these beautiful tortilla chips and they're so crispy and you could leave them in longer. Like if you see the edges start to get pretty, they get a little bit brown, but you can leave them in even longer. Sometimes I get them really dark and they're really good because they're so really crunchy. We have some buffalo chicken dip that we're just dipping ours in. Oh yeah. Cheers. Oh, cheers. Mm hmm They're so good. And honestly, I actually like getting the street taco shells better because these are like the perfect size chip. So those are our chips. I ended up leaving them in there for, I did five minutes, moved around, five minutes, moved around. And then I actually did another like three minutes. So they were almost in there for the full 15 minutes to get nice and crispy. But again, keep checking on them, moving them around. Sometimes they fly everywhere. You'll hear like they're going crazy in there, but they're just moving around. Um, but just cook it to how you like it. The next thing was the zucchini. Yeah, so this is how our little zucchinis turned out. And you'll see some parts of the breading like don't stick perfectly, but still so good. So it's pretty well. Yeah, you have a perfect one. And we're just gonna dip it in some marinara sauce. <laughs> Careful. Cheers. It's spicy. Yeah, I like it. It's a sriracha, right? Oh my gosh, those are way spicier than I realized. Mm -hmm. I also forgot, sometimes I like to put a little bit of like Parmesan on top of those or salt and pepper and I didn't even do that. I just used the Panko seasoned breadcrumbs, they're spicy. They're good. They're good though. So with this, the whole zucchini, I use about, that's like a quarter cup of Panko. I'd say I use like a quarter cup of Panko and maybe like a tablespoon of flour. So that right there is like three smart points. So if we were counting points, this whole thing would probably be three points because the egg is zero, the zucchini is zero. So, Super flavorful, super filling. If I was yeah. gonna eat this whole thing to myself, like that is super filling. Or it's just a really good side dish to have. Like this reminds me of a lot of like the fried vegetables you can get from like a pizza place. So like as a side with pizza, super, super good. Super good appetizer. Or even for like parties. Now next, these are my favorite. So these are little turkey pepperoni roll-ups with the laughing cow and cheese. And usually I break them apart and it's nice string cheese, but I just caught them today, so you won't see that. But again, we're just gonna dip those, oops in the marinara sauce. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> mm. There we go. So again, if I was tracking those, for two wraps, it's three for the tortillas, one for the pepperoni, one for the cheese, and one for the laughing cow. So six points for two of those roll-ups, which is pretty much a meal or just like a good snack. Super filling, super tasty. Love that. That's Very like my new favorite. Snack. Yeah. So then, this is our favorite. So oh, yeah. this is a chicken wrap. This is how it turned out. Jeez. Oh, the, so I kept the two or the three wraps in at the same time and I ended up cooking them both for like, how long was that? That was like eight minutes. It was like eight minutes at 370, like I said, and it's perfect. I could have left this one in even longer if I really wanted to, to get it a little crunchier, but like, I kind of like this softer with the, the pepperoni ones getting a little crunchier. Yeah. So a little crunchy, softer. So cheers. Sometimes because of the liquid from the veggies and the chicken, they like juice a little bit out of the bottom. That's, yep. oh, oh. Oh, oh. <laughs> but it's not a big deal. It doesn't make them like soggy or anything, so. <laughs> so Adam and I are about to chow down on this food. <laughs> I'm hungry, we haven't eaten, so. Anyway, those are just like, we picked our top four favorite air fryer recipes that we like to make. Like I said, most of the time we're using our air fryer to just reheat food or to heat food up, but you can make a lot of recipes in it as well. So the points for the chicken wrap, it's two points for the large tortilla, one for the laughing cow, one for the hummus, and that's it. It's, it's four a, points for this giant wrap. It's so big too. Super filling, super big, yeah. And I like to top it with Trader Joe's queso, oh, yeah. but you can do whatever. So anyway, if you guys want to see us make anything else in the air fryer, let us know if there's some recipe maybe you want to try. We can come up with a good way to make it, or maybe it's something we've made before, but we have a lot of fun doing videos like these, so he likes eating the stuff. I love eating the stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.